Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. Hey YouTubers, what's going on? This is Ricky J, man, and today we're going to be using Phil Brooks, aka CM Punk, as he gets ready to fight, man, tonight. Let me know your thoughts on CM Punk fighting again, and um, he's fighting Jackson, who's 0-1. Both of them lost to Mickey Gall, and <laughs> what's being <laughs> posted as the craziest like rage online is people that are upset that CM Punk is getting pay-per-view airtime. Yeah, so his fight against Jackson is the first fight on the pay-per-view card, and a lot of people online are really upset that the UFC is giving him that privilege to fight on the pay-per-view and giving him I guess if you fight on the pay-per-view you do get some pay-per-view revenue and uh, people are saying online you guys got to check it out that people are raging because they're saying that he's taking away you know money that these hardcore fighters that deserve to be on the pay-per-view are not getting and let me know your thoughts on that I think you know I'm kind of leaning towards both ways yes you should give the money to the guys that uh, have been fighting a long time but CM Punk he sells pay-per-views and that's the whole game plan for the UFC so this is live man this is online ranked online ranked using Punk oh and he's got a nice little leg kick right there you know we're gonna try to do two fights win or lose man does he got the uh, who doesn't have the uh, the leg kick body kick action He doesn't have anything, man. I'm trying to do the one-two body kick. He doesn't got it. See that? He doesn't. He doesn't have much. This could be ugly, guys. This could be ugly. Oh, can't be taking those punches, Kobe Covington. I wonder how he's gonna do, man. I wonder how he's gonna do tonight. I think RDA, I'm going for Kobe Covington. You know why? I love guys that make fights interesting, make fights matter. And he, he has that Conor McGregor edge to him, even though sometimes it doesn't seem very natural. Oh, boy. Got to hang back a bit. Just punk, it just seems like his punch is like, you know. The right hand just misses. And the kick lands. Punches need time to load up. Oh, there we go. You got tagged there. Switching stances here. Do you guys ever find that when you're playing this game, you forget about the combos that you know? <laughs> this is what's happening right now. I'm like, what could I throw with Punk? He doesn't have my go-to combos. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. This guy is just waiting to blitz. Oh, there's a nice one. Slightly deflected. It's a technical battle. Nice. There we go. Got to watch out for the uppercuts, though. Oh, he wants to clinch. Good one, two. Yeah. Oh, I gotta follow that with a hook. The old hooker. Nice. These guys are swinging. Good combinations landing here. That one hurt. Well, yet again, he goes back to the jab and he lands it. And defensively, this fighter is going to have to figure something out. <laughs> I've gone silent. He's going to lean into his opponent's striking range. He's going to have to stick and move and figure out a way to get his... Coming one of my favorite combos now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. But Punk is being... Very calculated. He's going to throw a haymaker. Good little round. Let's check out the stats. We may have won that round. <laughs> we got to stick to the game plan. I hope tonight that Punk wins, man. If you guys are wondering, I'll be rooting for him, man. Because just like I said about Kobe Covington, 
he makes fights matter. You know what I mean? Like, he makes you interested. And if that Jackson character wins, I'm not going to be interested in his future fights. But if Punk could win, I think if he wins, he gets another crack in the UFC. But if he loses, who could he beat inside the UFC? He's going to have to fight in one of the, um, you know, lower tier organizations. Oh, Punk, he hurt him. Punk is shocked that he hurt him. <laughs> That's exactly what Rogan would say. Yeah. Oh, I got to dial it back a bit. Oh, look at Punk go. Oh, no. Oh, nice. But remember, he's a WWE champion. I feel like um, holding that, see that left hand right there? I feel like punching with the right gives me more control of my opponent when I'm on the ground. Let me know if you agree with that. I don't punch with the, the head that I'm um, holding my opponent with is not the hand that I'm going to be punching with while I'm on the mat. Maybe we should make a video on that. Nice fakes. I'm going to try to, oh nice. We could be in trouble. <laughs> Every time I'm in trouble in the game, oh no. I thought I denied that. Here we go. Every time I'm in trouble in the game, my dog barks. Yeah, we're gonna go straight up. Yeah, there we go. Push, Get when you get close to that cage, you're gonna try to push off. There we go. There! Punk showing that he's been training with Anthony Pettis. <laughs> Jeez, it's a good battle. And I hope um, Punk gets some octagon time, man. Against Gall, jeez, he swung like he was in a schoolyard fight and he got taken down and then that was the fight. I don't think he's ever been hit like how he got hit against Gall. It kind of shocked him. Nice. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. How about that chin? And that one certainly can't take too many of those. Look at him. So far from both men. So he's able to land another punch there. Nice work on the feet tonight by CM. Punk showing his boxing. <laughs> Kick to the body is there. CM Punk gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way Jeez. to move those. Feet. This guy's doing a great job so at really utilizing distance. Oh. oh, look at Punk. Oh, Punk. <laughs> that makes so much fun. Let's check out the stats. Look at that. So how do you judge that round? He had a takedown. He had some control for a minute, 23 seconds. But we had more strikes and more significant strikes. So do I Caleb Starnes it for the third round? If you remember Caleb Starnes back in the day... He fought uh, Nate Quarry. Yeah, it was Nate Quarry. And Nate Quarry was doing well. And it seemed like Caleb Starnes, he was scared to engage. He was in the Ultimate Fighter. Both of them were. And he just ran around the ring for three rounds. And Quarry won by a decision. Everyone was upset at Caleb Starnes for not engaging. And he just was running the whole time. Oh, look at Punk! You guys got to help me figuring out how to break my opponent's block too, man. No, no, what am I doing? I did not mean to do that. That shot is blocked by CM Punk. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shot. I gotta just touch my opponent. Oh, look at this! I was just, you know, I was just going to say I'm not going to throw a kick, and I did, man. Guys. 
Look at him. He's just... Here we go. Jeez. My dog's not liking it. Every time I get taken down, my dog's barking. Go double under. Yeah. Oh, now he's got yeah. Oh. yeah. Nice. Man, yeah, can't take a lot of those. So we're losing this round, man. I shouldn't have thrown that kick. <laughs> here, here comes my dog. <laughs> it's right beside me. There we go. Oh, he's got a triangle. Look at this. Apparently, you get no points for... You get no points for... Uh, Submission attempt, somebody was telling me. He's now working from full guard. Landed some big punches from this position. Oh, punk. He's got decent ground game. We're not out. Throw up another triangle, maybe. Yeah. Oh man, what a first fight. Great fight. Alright, we await the judges scorecards now as this one goes the distance. Should have a clear winner here, Joe. You never know how the judges Who but there was one won that one. My opponent had good wrestling. That's the one thing I'm worried about. The wrestling. And again here in round two, beautiful technique here. Times that strike Okay, here we go. You guys ready? I think I did some. I did. I think I did enough damage. Come on, gotta give myself some credit. We looked at the stats. Don't shake your head. Don't shake your head. Okay, keep your head straight. Shake your head. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, baby. There you go. <laughs> what a victory. Let's get in on one more fight. All right, here we go, the last fight. And um, let's see what we could do. But, um, you know, I don't know, man. <laughs> let's see. I'm still not confident even after that first win. Here we go. And we're facing a champ. Oh, my gosh. This is not going to be pretty. Oh. Oh. Nice fast hands on Desanos. It's funny how we face Colby Covington and now Desanos. This is not planned. It's literally back to back. Punk's hands, it's like he's underwater, man. Gotta back away. Gotta back away, let him do his thing. This guy's a champ, look at him. Even fight so far. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Oh, that's a good strike there by CM. He lands an excellent it's, combination. Oh, look at him. <laughs> it's like Conor McGregor when he was boxing Mayweather. McGregor's power, man, it just didn't translate in boxing. I don't know why, man. It almost looked like he was just, just kind of like touching him, you know, with. I don't know, like just going ping, 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 ping. McGregor wasn't used to throwing that many punches in a fight. Oh man, we were both thinking the same thing. Oh, 
Yeah. Punk is not backing down though. It's not backing down. Whoa, hit my back. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Clean left punch followed by the right. Wow, big overhand right miss. Nice punch by CM Punk. Good job of time combination of strikes. Scoring. Goes for the head kick but doesn't connect. Take down attempt there. No way. Okay, there's a minute left. Hopefully we could survive this. I'm just waiting. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. <laughs> yeah, no way. Come on, I'm uh, WWE X champion. Does he have a Pepsi <laughs> like tattoo? Oh no! I was looking at his tattoo. I wasn't looking at the fight. Oh, say screeched it. Saved by the bell. And then he tried the Mr. Perfect soup, perfect plex right there. So let's quickly look at the stats. I shouldn't have pushed the button. I pushed the button. We won. Maybe we won that round. Punk. Doing a good job. He doesn't want to. What's going on? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was kind of cheap on my part. I don't know if he was playing possum or not. Oh. Oh, look at Punk. Get him. Great start for Punk. Yes. I'm telling you, that lead uppercut straight is awesome. Push back by Dos Anjos. Nice sway back. Okay, we got to tone it down, buddy. Tone it down. I kind of like using Punk. You know why? Because your opponent doesn't expect much. And then you get into a fight and it's even and I feel like they uh, start second guessing the fight. This guy's a champ, man. He's doing some funky stuff. Yeah, switching it up. He may try to wrestle me now. Look at him. He's backpedaling too. Look at this. Yeah. Punk just winning rounds. Oh, nice. See, that took half my head health. Holy smokes. Oh, nice. Caught him going the other, going right there. Gotta watch out for those. Exactly. Boy, I knew it. Oh, Punk knew it. Look at this. Get him. Submissions? No submissions. <laughs> Anyhow, people, enjoy the pay-per-views tonight. That's two videos in a day. Yeah, man, what fun times. I love using these lower tier guys, especially on my secondary account. Oh, man. Look at that. Great little win. Yeah, we took down the champ right there, and that is that. But uh, let me know who else you want me to use. I love just, you know, just going and using random guys. It's fun, man. So anyhow, people, have a great day. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome.